uh, well, if you record this, it doesn't have depth perception, so it'll look like it's like five feet down. But this shit's fucking steep. Oh, man. To update this video here, uh, we climbed up this fucking mountain when I hang myself. Uh, me, Legos, and Vasquez. And uh, to clear out a cave, which wasn't a cave, it was a rock in there. Uh, upon discovering there was a rock in there, they still wanted us to clear it. I don't know how you can it, but you can't walk inside it. But, uh, Vasquez fires the wall, hits in the, the entrance, explodes into the mouth of the cave. Pretty good shot. But uh, of course, people are going to give him a shit about it because they didn't go inside the cave. But because uh, everybody knows you're an expert at everything when you're not doing it, and it's easier to watch somebody else fail. But it was a good shot. But uh, especially considering the cave entrance was about maybe three feet wide and the rock hits about, I don't know, about a foot. So what I had it would have been a perfect shot, so I'd say it was good. Anything in there would have definitely been dead, especially considering nothing could go inside there. But, uh, here's your update of fucking Taliban cave, which was also like nine clicks away from our position, so, uh, here he was, this morning we got hit by a mortar, and it was really fucking close, we're all standing around, shaving my face, and, uh, we hear the pop, and the shh, and everybody yells incoming, and runs, and dives, and hides, and all hell breaks loose, so we come out here to investigate, and they suspect that could be the fighting position, but, uh, I really don't know how you launch a mortar, out of the rock face that's facing away from where you were, uh, especially since there's no whole group. But uh, that's, that's just me and my uh, two cents for what it's worth. And now we're pushing back to the vehicle at fucking the speed of smell because everybody's gonna break their ankle like fucking six killer on this damn thing. It's all loose gravel. It was pretty vertical. And it was probably the most tiring thing I've ever done in my life. It was like climbing the Reaper. The Reaper was covered in fucking mud and loose gravel. Oh, and if you're wearing flax, kevlars, and White 2 and listen to the shit talk from probably White 1, who is probably just gonna talk my ass shit on the basket. Oh. But uh, that's okay because we saw what really happened. Would have been really epic if we got shot at going up there because I probably would have just laid there and died. Any narration you guys would like to add? Is it any narration you guys would like to add? No, I was just the whole narration is me talking shit. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, fuck you, so That's a team leader. In a fucking cave. It was the size of my fucking body. Yeah, I don't know how they could shoot mortars out of that, especially since it's facing away. But. All right. Yep, and that's what we deal with on a daily basis out here. So, uh, you want me to push over this fucking rock and then on top of white too, or push down and around and then back up? Whatever you want, bro. Alright, this will probably be easier. Oh, man. I'm going to need to get psychiatrist, or fucking, not a psychiatrist, well, maybe a psychiatrist. I'm probably fucking crazy by now. But a masseuse, a chiropractor, that's what I needed, a chiropractor. 
That mortar today was pretty scary, I ain't gonna lie. It uh, gave me the shakes. It landed about, I don't know, less than 100 meters from our vehicle. I crawled under a tire. Oh, there's our vehicle. Uh, yeah, I just followed this fighting position of doom. They just climb up the hill. They see everything apparently. I'm glad he had a 240 ready. Just in case if he had one of us. Patriotic we are. We're out here doing this for people to sit on the couch and do something. Hey, I got the wall. That's my super short show. 